Hi everyone, it's Killy81 here and welcome to my Steam Library Adventures. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, these videos are charting me as I play through my Steam Library. Um, in particular, those games that I have not played before. Um, that is based on 15 minutes or so. If it says I played under 15 minutes, I'm making the assumption that basically I just switched on, didn't actually play it. Um, on the whole, it's alphabetical. Sometimes there's nuances around that, usually around sequels and things like that. But principally, it's alphabetical. So we may as well just go on and um, see what the next game we're playing is. And yeah, um, here we are in my Steam library. Now, the last game I played, I think... Yeah, it was... Well, I, I'm pretending I don't know. Of course I know. Dracula 2. Played... And now finished. Um, so the last Steam Library adventure was only about the first half of the game, uh, but I have finished it since then. So really, the next one is Dracula 3, The Pass of the Dragon. Although, interestingly enough, the image there is Dracula, La Voix du Dragon. There you go. La Voix? Is that Pass? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, store page? What are we going to find out about the game? I can't imagine anything more new. Mostly negative reviews again. Great to see. There is obviously no such thing as vampires. At least according to the official line of the Catholic Church, the trilogy continues as the Prince of Darkness rises again. I'm assuming this means uh, we're no longer getting any uh, Jonathan and Mina stuff going on. Um, okay. Again, mostly negative. I'm going to assume it's pretty similar to the other Dracula games. Yeah, Gog is original... Remastered, which removed Night Five of the puzzles. Winner, no puzzles. Yeah, I, I, I really sorry to anyone that's a big fan of the original Dracula, here, but uh, puzzles, no, not for me. But anyway, let's go install it and uh, give it a play. And yes, we have Dracula Three: The Path of the Dragon. Interest enough, while the image was in the French, the title is not which is an improvement on some of the other versions, which were in French, text-wise were in French. Well, actually, I don't feel the, I'm not sure the uh, mainstream, we'll see if the subtitles like on the cutscenes are in French, because that's, that's where they caught me out last time. New game. That's Rome. He's happy. Is it the fear of death that is tormenting you? The fear of suffocating, Monsignor. At Caporetto, a shell buried my unit. I was the lone survivor. Oh, God we're in... spared your life. May he bring peace to your soul. We're, we're in the 1900s His now. His word guides me through my trials. After my nightmare, I opened the Bible and read this passage from Isaiah. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Arno, oh, you use the Bible to interpret your dreams. Please. Just realize it's white screen now. Your Eminence, since God rules the world, nothing happens by chance. Everything is the expression of his will. Everything must have a sense. And it is not in the power of man to discover it. Arno, your hunger for answers leads you astray. Please yeah, let's get back to the matter at hand. The congregation is sending you to Vlad Oviste in the bishopric of Alba Iula. In Transylvania? Oh, dear the region God. region's just been annexed by Romania, has it not? To be sure. They speak mostly Romanian there, as well as a little Hungarian and German. Three languages you know well. You will hmm. investigate the case of Martha Kalugaru, a physician and scientist who died a few months ago. And we're already investigating? The Dracula back. Uh, mm -hmm. The postulator of her cause has presented solid arguments to justify a rapid process. Naturally, this mustn't influence you, but you know your duty, don't you, Mr. Devil's Advocate? I'm really hoping the uh, graphics and stuff are actually better. Devil's Advocate, promoter of the faith. Monsignor Briganti has entrusted me with a great responsibility. God help me be worthy of it. Will Martha Caligaro one day be counted among the saints of the Catholic Church? Ah, that's what you're doing. But truth must prevail. My investigation must leave nothing in the dark. That place does not look friendly. Oh, 
Arrows indicate possible movements. Right. Okay. We we know this. It's pretty much. Oh. Look at Cole. This is not the time to take the train. You still have things to do here. It does look nicer, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know. I, I never checked the years when the game came out compared to the. But the fact the cutscenes are in widescreen is a step up. Um. I guess we'll go. This way? Before anything else, let's try to find that inn where I reserved my room. Okay, we'll do that, matey. That's back to the train station. Road. Which way do I go? This way? I think this way. If that if that's an inside, it it's not it's not it's not great. Oh my god, I'm gonna Oh what's this? Dispensary, that's not an inn. That's a dispensary, my friends. My lord. War has caused so much damage. That it has. Wow. It's a bit boogered, eh? I don't think that is the inn up there either. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping the inn is in the town. We're just going to wander in the town like an idiot. Okay, let's go down the spooky alleyway. Okay, that, uh, that's a dispensary. All right, I'm learning my way around. That huge, brightly lit building must be the inn. There you go. Finally got to the inn. Uh, don't let me do anything else but go in the inn. Oh no, I could leave. Okay. Ooh, graphically opening doors. The wheel shaped icon indicates you interact. Yep. Ding. Hello. Hello, ma'am. I'm Father Arno Moriani. Ah, you're the one who's come from Rome about Martha. Hello, Father. Your room's waiting. First one on the right at the top of the staircase. You already got a letter. I put it on your table. Thank you, ma'am. Hosanna, father. Call me Hosanna. It's the name they christened me with. I'm a bit... Oh, yes. Oh. One thing. Young Master Peckmester told me he'd sure like to meet you. Peckmester? Mr. Peckmester? <laughs> yes. Janos Peckmester. He's one of my largest. He I love the name. Across from yours. Oh, He's in I'm the a park child. Right now. Very well. I'll go say hello now. Oh, I want to get my cart letter first. Fucking hell. Can Perfect. I do something for you, Father? Yeah. No, thank you, Osana. Okay. Right, we're going this way then. What have we got? We've got to the room and we're going to the parlor. Parlor room, parlor room. Let's go to the parlor. Where's Pecky? Oh, oh. Oh, now if they'd let me move, you know, when I move left and right, that'd have been cool. But you know, we'll, we'll give him at least, at least to put my reflection in. Oh, wow, look at all the books. Anything clicking in the books? Oh, hello, picture. Oh, well, at some point, at some point, clearly, this picture has meaning. Not yet. Oh, there he is. I mean, he's that eager to meet me. He's just sitting... Oh, shit. It almost reminds me of... Um, the little mo character movements and the way they feel against the, the painted backdrop. Seven's Guest. I know Seven's Guest was FMV, so completely different. But, you know... Right, I'm going to have to talk to Pecky. I'm Janos Peckmester, assistant professor in the medieval history department at the University of Alba Iula. Father Arno Moriani of the Congregation of I don't of know Rites. how it sounds to you guys. It almost sounds echoey to me. But whatever. The whole village is aware of it. And you? What brings you to Vladiviste? Vladiviste. I'm verifying some locations and doing a little excavation at the Castle, Castle of, of Twilight. Twilight on the heights near the village. Hmm. That must be fascinating. Is the structure well preserved? Before the war, it was in perfect ah. condition. Unfortunately... It suffered enormously during the Oh, is the war uncovered something? Okay. Oh. Just between us, it was a terrible defeat for the Romanian army. Without its allies' help, huh. Romania would never have obtained Transylvania. Fair enough. We can hope so. Okay. Do you want to meet me tomorrow at the Castle of Twilight? You can see oh, the yeah. ruins from the village. You get up there, go through the... 
That would be a great pleasure. It would be a great pleasure. I'm just going to keep skipping. I'm going to hear the whole fucking, bit, um, you know, voice recording. Right, we're going up to the room. Let's go upstairs. Cool. Telephone. Oh my god, I can call and see you brigante, but we're not going to do that. Because, you know, I have nothing to tell them. This must be the room of the pecker. Smells of tobacco. This must. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, this must be my room. That's bed, okay. Letter. Okay. 1871, birth of Bucharest. Excuse me, sorry. Orphan. Passes the examination. By the way, I don't know about you, but that looks creepy. I don't know if you can see it very well, but holy shit. Orphan laboratory, acid explosion, acid. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, Martha. Apologies for that. Oops. After recovering disfigured, she pursues a scientific career. Then her nation needs to remain as being doctor. But it's dispensary. Martha agrees to locate. She divides her time between research and care given to the local population. That sounds nice. She promises an article in blood analysis, mess with the hereditary diseases. She receives the Motown Prize for her work in sodium citrate and blood cancer conservation. She publishes on the P syndrome. Hmm. Miss Martha and Professor give a conference. Martha refuses to leave despite the threat. As fighting rages, Martha declares combatants. Dispensary was spared. Martha comes to the aid of the Vladivostok's inhabitants who'd been harshly tested. Exhausted by her tough years, she died at a residence. One of her last good deeds was to pay with her own funds the trip to the sea of a sickly child. Hmm. Okay. Martha posthumously received the Medal of the Order of Star for her conduct. Her grave is the object of immediate devotion. Faithful would pray. There were cases of recovery. Vladivostok is one of the rare Catholic villages in a primary Orthodox. Inauguration of an official pilgrimage grave would allow the strength of links. A missive from the Diocese of Alba Eula. Yes. This biography cannot be objective, of course, but it helps to capture mm. Martha's personality. It's about time I seriously. Alright, you've got to seriously stop your investigation, my friend. This isn't the right time. Okay, it's not the right time to sleep yet. Alright, fine, okay. Let's go further down the, uh, let's go annoy everyone else. What have we got here? Okay, it's not polite to interrupt people. Fine. Okay. So, what am I meant to do then? we go back downstairs. I guess maybe we... We phone. Phone. This is Cardinal. This is Father Arthur. Your mission is delicate, Arthur. Yeah. Difficult to accomplish without attending someone. Don't know how to accept it, thanks. Goodbye, your immense. Oh, that was a well. fucking waste of my time. Uh, okay. Hello! Can I do something? No, thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Let's go to the dispensary then, I suppose. Um. Yeah, well, let's go. Let's go to the dispensary. Don't stay in that drafty hall. Oh, I'm oh. here. I'm in the kitchen. Hello. I have no business being. Ladies. I have no business being here. Okay. I have no business. All right, it doesn't let me go up that way. All right, that's fine. Taking some charcoal, everyone. I already have some. Okay, we've got charcoal. What was this? Washing our hands for some reasons. Why did it stop? Why is it? Why did the the sound go? Anyway, let's talk to the. Hello, Miss. I'm Father Arno Moriani. Hello, Miss. I am Doctor Maria Florescu. Have you come from the Vatican, Father? Ah, I see that news travels quickly. <laughs> oh, She's is a bit a fidgety. So, I've learned that you reserved a room at the inn, and that you've come with regard to the canonization of Martha Calogero. Yes. To be more exact, I'm here to conduct a preliminary inquiry. In fact, I'd like to ask you a few questions in that respect. But I hope I'm not bothering you, Doctor. Call me Maria, please. And I'd be very happy to help you. Keeps itching her arm, by the way. 
I've read the research she published. I also know about her through what the villagers All right, said. so she came after. And from the Fair traces she left in this house. She led an austere life and worked a great deal. Her only distraction was photography. All her equipment is still here. Photography, you say? Interesting. I'd wanted to set myself up since the end of my studies, but I didn't have the money right. to buy a practice. The Vesnesia Foundation offered me this job after the death of Dr. Caligaro. I accepted it right away. You got house and earns money. And put okay. up. I earn a salary for tending to the poor, and I can develop a small private practice on the side. Hmm. In fact, I did observe several spontaneous cures, but, you know, this sort of thing happens relatively frequently. Spontaneous does not Thank necessarily you, mean Sensible. miraculous. Sensible lady. Everything is possible. Don't hesitate to come back if you think I'm... Oh, wait a minute, there was, more, will always be well. there was more to ask there, I'd just say that. Is that the one I... In fact, I did observe... Oh, no, it's the same thing. I thought it was Don't something hesitate to come back. slightly different, will always be well. but it was not. I go in there through the door. Go through the door. Oh dear God! I'm sorry. No, he's not. Cheeky jump scare. He's a good dog. His present. Cheeky wee jump scare. She moved. Yeah, she's turned around now. Okay, that's fine. It'd be better. For yeah, it would be better to drop him in. I have no business. Oh, you're too nice, mate. Who's watching me? I thought I saw something move behind that window a while ago. Was I dreaming? Which house? Which, is it that house there? It's that one, isn't it? Yeah, the one with the coffin on it. Yeah, that, that's definitely the one. I can't actually get into that one, though. Be fair, I've not actually been down here. Let's go down here. That here in November 1916, the fourth and fifth. Oh, I didn't finish reading that. Fought against the troops of Austro-German coalition. May the blue, yellow, and red. Okay. Oh man, that is a lot of dead people. Oh, there's the castle of twilight. Well, that's not the house then I saw from the other one. Uh, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, sleeps. Thank you for the subscription, but that did definitely ruin the mood of a guy looking staked in the shadow. <laughs> I'm curious to know how that's. How does that look like that? I mean, I don't really think... The view gonna... must be splendid up there, but... I'm too... Oh, fuck off. The game's not letting me do things. You're known for your timings. Well, I'm not going to say anything. Not going to say anything else. All right, let's go back to the end. Maybe I now need to go to the bed. The bed? The bed. My bed. Right, you got anything to say? Probably no, not. thank you. All right, that's fine. Nothing to say. We try and go to sleep this time now? Maybe it'll let me. It didn't let me before. This isn't the right time. Oh, honestly? Well, what do you want me to do then, game? You need to spell out. Oh, I know. Yeah, there's improvement. Uh, you missed it earlier, I think, but the, um, the cutscene was in widescreen as well, which was different because the previous cutscenes were 4x3. Uh, whoever obviously did the... Uh, Right, we're going to talk to you again. Oh my god, though. The problem with it is, I can't just innocently click. I have to wait for them to finish their silly animation. Do you want to? That yes. would be a great. Okay, I already know I'm meeting him. Where the fuck am I meant to go, by the way? I already looked at that picture. Nothing to see. Hmm. Maybe I have to climb go up the other building then. We'll go up the other building. Da, 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 da. Up this way then. That's clearly what I had to do. I don't know why this one is an acceptable. Oh, is this because of the I saw someone at the window lark before? I mean, to be fair, 
could argue it was obvious. Oh. Here you will receive neither glory nor wealth, but the rest of the body and the peace of the soul. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's clearly a church, but it kind of looks... Oh, no, it's a graveyard. Okay. It's, it's a graveyard. Oh. Oh, there's loads of people working. Uh, let's go this way. Is that guy sleeping? Oh, no. It wasn't a guy sleeping, it was... Oh, it's Martha's grave. This is the regretted doctor. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. We don't need to see all of it. Right. Please. Who are you? Who's this short guy? Oh, my Lord. You're, you're tiny, mate. Hello, son. I'm... Oh, it's the kid. You're the one who's come to get Martha kid. into heaven. All right. Oh, I'm not the one who decides that, you know. <laughs> I'm just here to question people to find out who she was. It feels a lot more talky. I will give it that. Do you know? Did you know her? She's beautiful. <clears throat> you oh can my see God. she's a lady from the city. She's the one who gives injections now. She gave one to me, but I'm not scared anymore. Okay. She gave injections. When I was little, that scared me. <laughs> and she always gave me candy afterwards. What do you mean she's even she nicer? Nice. What? And she's even nicer since she's dead. Is that so? Explain what? that to me. She protects people. All right. When you go to some bad spot in the middle of the night, you have to repeat three times, Saint Martha, protect me, and nothing will happen to you. The grave digger told me that. And also, when you burn a candle on her grave, I'm still curious to how this involves Dracula. Have you made one? But... I asked Martha to send me a friend to play with. I had one, but he died. Whoa. And then another one, but he left. So now I'm bored. Right. Okay. Thanks, kid. Can I actually go it's in? Closed. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, mate. Is that really a surprise? Oh, we're going up this way. Okay, we're going up. Ooh. Who's this? <laughs> Was that really an attempt at a cheap, a, a jump scare? I mean, honestly, that was pretty poor. What the hell? Did I... Won't do it again? No, it doesn't do it again. So we're going up here then. I think we're just going to go around in a loop here. Definitely feeling the loopiness. Uh, why can't we actually go in the church? All right, we're going to talk to the grave digger then. Clearly, all right, gravy. Hey, sir. Wow, it's quite forceful. A cross on, good guy, not a vampire. How do you do? I'm Father Arno Moriani of the Sacred Congregation of Rites. Good. I didn't know his full uh -huh. name. You're the one come for our Martha. Welcome, Father. Uh, I'm By the way, with you. What's the a big red nose like Rudolph like Paris. in the picture down there? Oh. Can I speak Spanish, Father please? Father Gregorio yeah. Nicesco, he left for the south oh. on a cure. He was real tired. Especially after the death of Martha, she helped him a lot with his good works. The bishop hasn't found a replacement yet, so once ah, again we got no, no priest. priest. <laughs> like during the war. Hmm, interesting. Sure, I knew her. She good. was a darn oh, good, good doctor, with all due respect. And she had guts. Uh. <laughs> she saved a lot of folks during the war. And then, young Ariel, that everybody was sure had an evil eye cast on him and was sure to die. That ain't all. Yes? Okay. She works miracles. No, she's dead. She doesn't Explain work miracles. Oh, my God. Work for her, I'd have the back all busted. Because let me tell you, she heals even better since she died. <laughs> That's why people go to her grave and light candles there. Okay. She was found in the dispensary, lying on her bed, calm. Like as if an angel had come to get her. 
We all wanted her to have a real nice burial, but we had to do something simple. The funeral parlor is next to dispensary. Since the war. And I think someone was looking out from that window at me. He left a phone number. Ask for oh, there you go. I guess we're going to phone that number then. Okay. I'll leave you. Well, with all due respect, Father, I gotta move the old ones to make room for the newcomers. Well, that's this nice. here is the corner of the Great Plague. These folks been here since 1780, so we can stuff them into a communal grave. <laughs> They'll keep each other warm. That's, that's nice, mate. Thank you for that. Uh, right, we need to go phone Father. What's he called? Gregory. Go phone Father Gregory. Uh, have I gone down to a dead end? I have, but it's fine, I can get to it this way. There's the inn. Okay, in the inn we go. And I'm not going to talk to you, lady. We're going to phone Father Gregory. Hi, Father. Hello, this is Father Arno Moriani. I belong to the Sacred Congregation of Rites, and I'm investigating the case of the late Martha Caligaro. Ah, mm. yes. She was a good Christian, courageous, charitable, and she attended Mass regularly. I appreciated her a great deal. Goodbye, Father Gregorio. I wish you a good rest. That... Goodbye, Mother Arnold. That didn't tell us anything. Well, uh, I think I've done it. All right, there was a hint to go to bed then. Well, I... I guess we have we're about to finish our first day. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! We're having a nightmare or something? No, we're not having a nightmare. What are we what are we seeing? Is it night? Luciana. The hell? Bjorn. May I come up? Come. Who's talk? I think uh, my neighbour is getting jiggy with it, my friends. Wait a minute, that's the side door, isn't it? It wants me to go through the side door, game? Okay. What, what the fuck? Oh lord, free me from night terrors. What a strange nightmare. Alright, it was a nightmare. Maybe. Refresh my ideas. What if I went to visit Janos at the castle? I'm very confused by that night time situation there, but you know what? We'll, 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 we'll continue. Can I see something out the window, maybe? That's just the book still. Oh. I really would like to move. This is a particularly... Uh, all right, there's a wardrobe there. All right, so that really was a nightmare because there was there's no door there. Okay, you know what? Do ya? Why does everyone seem so small in this world? Mr. Stefan Luca, a report right. from the city arrived here this morning. He's in the parlor. He sort of told me to kind of tell you he'd like to talk to you. Sort of told me. He a kind reporter. of wanted. Very well, I'll go. Wait, Father. All right. I also wanted to tell you. I have to make up the room to the right of yours for Mr. Luca. Dumb, but I don't dare go why? Oh, why is that? There you go. Well, it's like it was kind of cursed. Really? What makes you think that? The spot. The black spot. The more I rub, the less it goes away. And then crucifix. It okay, this this room is um Oh god. <laughs> what can I do to reassure you? Go spring some holy water, my friend. Please. Cross back in place. place I don't dare touch it. And bless the And hey there, uh, that way. I'll be able oh, to go in it to do I've the just house seen what you've done. You've redeemed Okay, me shouting that out in the middle of Dracula seems very, very un um 
well, professional is not the right word because there's nothing professional about this whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, okay, we'll just have to do it. Uh, the man has paid his points for me to go. Keep Apologies to everyone else that watches this. But you know, Twitch points. Someone switched my Twitch points back on. This is the room with the cross. Oh, the cross is upside down, by the way. And look, there is a door behind the cupboard. It's stuck. Yeah, that's because there's a cupboard in the way, mate. Here's right. the black spot that frightens Ozana so much. Don't you? Don't check the cupboard. Gloria Patri, a filio, a spiritual sancto, secut erat in principio, it nunc, it semper, it is. Alright, I'm uh, enough Latin. Are we done? We're done. That, this is not, this room is not nice, nice. There you go. I did it for you, Ozana. Ozana, I put the crucifix back in. Thank you, Father. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'll be able to fix up the room. Dr. Florescu came by. All right. She asked for you to go to the dispensary because she needs blood donors. She just made me. Fine. She's I'll made me and she wants my blood. Wait a minute. What's the name of this game again? Uh... This must be. Hmm. Uh... Alright, let's go to the parlor and talk to the fucking um, parasite. Hello. Delighted to meet you, Father. Concerning Martha, I, I mean Doctor Kalugaro, it's very important that you know she was murdered. What? What are you saying? Wait, where did you get that from? Yes. Oh, um, I, I didn't introduce myself. Stefan Luca, um, journalist. Well, it's a good thing that you're here. Since the departure of Father Gregorio, this village really needed a priest. What that got Yet to do I didn't him? come to replace him. Of course, I, I know why the Vatican has sent you for Martha's canonization. But I, I want to talk with you about something else. There's something much more serious. Martha, well, she was killed. Was she now? Buying evil. Mm. I'm afraid I don't follow. Dracula. Dracula. Are you skeptical? I was too. But read this letter that Martha sent me three months before her death. Oh, here we, here we go. Sorry. Belching. Too much gassy beer. Doctor. Pay attention to Stefan Luca. Sir, I read your last letter with certain irritation. I must admit, let's see. The people I'm telling you about are afraid to fall asleep. Hear voices, walk in their sleep, and present strange stigmata. Finally, and most importantly, they die of a devastating inexplicable anemia. Oh, and you read it's a nervous affliction. Even Professor Von Kruger, so conventional in his approach, admitted that it was something else than a nervous disorder. I'll send you the medical files. Please examine them and you will change your opinion. Please believe me, strong force is at work and I will be in great need of allies to be able to counter it. Well. Here are the notes Martha kept. Once, Once you've, you've read, read the file on each victim, you'll be convinced. Will I? I'm sure. I mean, I'm already convinced because of the guy. I know what the, I know, I know what this, the game's about, and I did play one and two. Road mender lived alone, not very sociable. Found unconscious while working near the broken oak crossroads. When I asked his note, to, I'll get in touch with the Professor Von Kruger. Late October, repeat a transfusion. The patient declares himself cured. Two days later, was found dead in his bed, drained of blood. Start writing an article in the case with Professor. We think we have identified a new syndrome, the P anomaly. First, I wish that I began systematic tests. Schoolboy orphan. Bell complains of nightmares. Sleepwalking. Yep. Anemia. P anomaly. Blood transfusions. Inf improvements in relapses. Hematoma on the neck. Hmm. Bell was heard at the dispensary. I see the have of G. Who's G? Take all precautions. Alas, I fall asleep during my shift. The child dies. I contact the police. Due to the threat of war, no one is available. No investigation. G. A G again. Unknown young woman. Amnesia. When's this woman? That was 16. We're back in 19 now. I'm 
met the young woman goes to cemetery, shivering, gave her food, routine test, pee anomaly found, several blue marks, hematoma on the neck, police alerted, no reaction. He comes to see me. We apply the traditional method. The young woman leaves as soon as the dispensary surveillance lightens up. She roams aimlessly around the village at night. The woman is found dead at the cemetery. Drains of her blood. Please come. Investigations botch. Inspector Looper's conclusion the victim died of cold. Hosanna's son. Father. Dead. Hosanna! Hosanna's son and father. His mother forgives him everything. Oh no, right. The father is dead. Not the father died as well. Mother concerned, child does not well. P and only detected. A test done a few months earlier did not show anything. I choose not to fight. I send the child to the seaside. Right. I wonder, you know, the boy we met in the um in the cemetery earlier, that probably the friend that died, and that would be the friend that was sent away. Good news, child is recovered, no relapse, he must stay there. I'm happy, but still worried who will be the next victim. I will not be able to send them all away. I must tackle the root of evil. Well. The documents you showed me are astonishing. However, I'm surprised Dr. Calugaro entrusted you with well, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a stickler, aren't I? And all. Medical secrecy is a secondary issue <gasps> when human lives are at stake. Think of it. The identified victims are just the latest ones. Martha was convinced that there were many others over the past years. No, the past centuries. She wanted me to alert public opinion, but the editors of my paper were pressured. Our enemy is very influential. We have to do something. Do me. Let's see. I agree that these files are very disturbing, but we can't take the place of the police. Martha contacted them a number of times. I kind of like the father way more than Jonathan Perhaps Harker, didn't if take I'm her honest. Seriously. We should call back to explain the situation calmly. Okay. The police, once again, didn't do their job. Call them in your that team. would seem to be the most reasonable course. If Go right ahead. The telephone is in the next room. When you realize the ineffective... All right, Grumpy. What was that? Wait a minute, what's this? I can't borrow this with... Really? Why would it? Inspector Brutal. I belong to the Sacred Congregation of Rights. It's the way he says that like people know what that is. The case of Martha Caligaro in Maybe the they did. eventual canonization. Martha Caligaro? Mm -hmm. I remember her well. Always bothering my men with unbelievable stories and groundless complaints. <laughs> she wasn't a bad woman, but she had a screw loose. Uh oh. I'll note your opinion. Inspector, I'm calling because my investigation has revealed several suspicious deaths, which all occurred in Vladoviste. They could very well be murders. Uh oh, he's not going to take this well. Uh, give me the names of the supposed victims. Marion Marescu, dead in October 1913. Seldrick Maliskal in July 1916, and an unidentified. He's going to go. They are the people. November 1919. Uh, I see exactly what you're talking about. Wasn't it a certain <laughs> Stefan Luca who transmitted this information to you? Well, that is... Uh, of course it is. Don't believe anything he tells you. He's just been fired by his newspaper. He's just a troublemaker. Father Moriani, I have to warn you. Our country is currently in the grip of a certain agitation. And the Catholic minority isn't viewed very positively by certain political groups. So, if I were in your shoes, I wouldn't prolong my visit to Transylvania. Well, that's worrying. Thank you for your advice, but you understand that I can't very be worrying. without carrying out my mission. What's going to happen Goodbye, then? Goodbye, Inspector. What? The police think that Martha was mad. Mm. The case doesn't look good. But it's out of the question for me to close the file without digging deeper. Okay, we're now heading back to journalist. This is feeling so much more talky than the previous games I've ever watched. Did you call the police? Are you convinced that they won't do a thing? Yeah. Read these two letters. And oh, we've got more bloody things to read. Okay. Vampires, hosts. Oh. My lord. 
I must elucidate this sorry affair. Yeah, I can say that. To some methodical questioning. Vampire legends. Our friend G. Garlic in the protective circle. Found the window open, the crumbs of ghosts dispersed by the wind and the child dead at bed. But, okay, about our last conver conserva conservation conversation. Where then is the beast hiding? Certainly changed its lair since the war. There is still the path of the dragon left. I'm convinced it will lead me to my goal. I know that you and G do not approve of my intentions. No doubt there's danger. I've read the ancient texts. A few glimpses of the path begins in Turkey. I plan to go there soon to look for traces of the dragon. Upon my return, I will hand to you the file that I put together in the path of the dragon. Right. I think he was living in the Twilight Castle. And then after the war, he's living in the um, funeral parlour. The letters you showed me raise a lot of questions. Yeah. First of all, what exactly does the term vampire signify? Vampire, wampir, upir, upir, rukalakis for the Greeks. Do these <laughs> words really evoke nothing for you? To tell you the truth, they do. I seem to recall reading something about these um, creatures. So, if I understand right, Martha tried to drive them back with a communion yeah. host ground into a powder? That's right. With the crumbs from the host, she drew a protective circle. Tell me, was the host consecrated? Uh, I suppose so. Did Father Gregorio know that this sort of activity was going on at his parish? The best would be for you to ask him the question. Wait a minute. G. Wait a minute. G. Father Gregorio. G. That, that, that's, that's who it is. Yes, we chatted over a glass of Tsuika, our local prune brand. Uh -huh. Yeah. She wasn't that old. Oh, okay. Overworked, perhaps? Come on. She was in <laughs> perfect health. She was hiking Just before she died. Don't you is threatened by vampire in the 20th century? That's the frightful reality. And why don't the residents do something to rid themselves of a curse like that? They don't believe it? Because they're resigned and submissive. To vanquish evil... You have to be strong. Um, okay. I, I think it's more like they don't believe you. I have you. to question Father Gregory about... Yeah, that's, that's G. I've just realized that's who G is, so... Home Honestly, today. this is ridiculous. Could I speak to Father Gregory Unigescu, please? This is Father Arno Moriani. One moment, I'll see. This is Father Gregory Unigescu. Hello. This is Father Arno Moriani. We've already spoken. Father, I have to discuss a very delicate subject with you. Please answer my questions very precisely. It's important. Do you know Stefan Luca? He's a journalist. A friend of Mark. Photographs again. They developed photographs together. According to Stefan Luca, Martha Caligaro believed in vampires and engaged in strange rituals. Uh -huh. Before you ask the question, yes. Yep. I help mm. Of course you did, mate. You do know the position of the church on this subject, don't you? <laughs> I know it. And I don't doubt that it's a very reasonable position when you think about the question. <laughs> seated in an office in Rome. But in Vladoviste, the situation is different. Is it, though? Do you want me to tell you how things happened? Right, I have to be honest with you, I'm not finding this much of a game, but more of a visual novel so far. I appreciate the really negative reviews said they removed most of the puzzles. So I don't know whether, but normally when I've seen the puzzles removed in these games, they just auto solved them. So either there's been no puzzles whatsoever, or it really has. Wow, well, I don't know which one's worse. Uh, Unfortunately. Two nights later, the window opened mysteriously, and the wind yeah. blew away the protective circle. Martha found the child dead, with wounds on his mm. neck. Yeah, I don't mind the hint puns. It's very likely. 
I knew she was threatened. I had offered her a dog to protect her. Ah. Now that seems to me to have been laughable. As if a dog could have stopped the enemy she was confronting. Do you think that enemy was a that An emanation of the, the devil. devil. All right. Have you heard of the Path of Dragon? Yeah. spoke to me of it. It's a sort of cursed way well. of the cross. Which All right. She... Why is that? She died fighting. Uh -huh. I fled. Today, it is <laughs> she. I like this. Good part. God of War was horrific for it. God of War. What's Thank it? you for your frankness, Father. Yes. Another thing, if a direct question is asked, mm -hmm. I shall be forced to evoke your part in this business. So be it. Mm -hmm. But you should know. And All right, okay. The Lord is oh, our only judge. Lord. All right, I'm All done. Right. All right. Now it's. Oh, All right. I need to phone Father. Oh no, no, no! I don't want to phone him again. Father. Oh God. Hello. Father, I have to dis No, no, I don't need to hear all this again oh, for fuck's sake, man. You do I know. Imagine clicking on the wrong button. You want me to tell you how Thank you for Yes. Another thing. So be your Lord. Your Lord. Right. It's Monsignor Brigante. There we go. We're pulling up my boss. This is Father Arno Moriani. How is your investigation going? A journalist friend of I mean, all I've done is talk to two people and phone a load of people. Story to tell. <laughs> he maintains she was assassinated by a dark power. What? And what do the police think? According to them, the reporter is a pathological liar, and Martha wasn't right in the head. As for me, I'm coming to more or less the same conclusions. Uh. I have proof that Martha believed in vampires and kept them away with the sacred host. How could that be? <laughs> I have seen so serious. Don't know what you're talking about. A disappointment. And as for those vampire stories, tell me, was the parish priest aware of this? Uh oh. Um, yes. I suppose that I closed the Caligaro file then? Certainly. And you opened another one on vampires. What? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me right. Study the legend. Demolish it. Prove that it is not based on reality. Oh no. We'll give your report widespread distribution. Oh no, this isn't going to go well. Yes, but hasn't the church already taken a position on the question? To be sure. Benedict XIV formally condemned belief in vampires. But that was two centuries ago. It's time to bring his message up to date. What exactly am I to do? Seek the origins of the myth, but also pay attention to its literary aspects, its recent manifestations. Show that those phenomena that terrorize the naive are either pure um... fabrication or have explanations that aren't supernatural. I understand. Right. And after you've finished your work, make sure you get the rest. Oh. Right. Goodbye, your eminence. I'm going to be honest with you. I've only been there a night, and I've spoken to like four people. It's not like I've fucking worked myself raw to the bone here, is it? Christ Almighty! What am I doing now? Oh. Uh, right, she's not there. Right, we're going to the dispensary because we've got to go get blood. And then we need to go up to the big castle. In the back room? I have no business being here. What in the back room? Hello. I already have. Given the option to wash my hands as well. All right, lady. Thank you for stopping by. I noticed that my blood stocks were really insufficient. Would you let me take a sample of yours? Certainly. No. I was a priest medic during the war. I saw many lives saved thanks to transfusions. Oh, so you're a nurse as well. Then you'll be able to do it yourself. Great. No. I have to rush off to see a patient on the other side of the village. Oh, uh, what exactly do I have to do? Draw your blood and place the bottle in the refrigerated chest. The combination is easy to remember. 
The date the dispensary was built. They're coming to get me. I have to go. Could you mark your blood type in the analysis reports? And also determine the types of the last three donors? I Where? don't have time to run the test. What? Oh yes, and if the phone rings, please answer. What could I See you later. What about this secretary? What the... the what? Right, well let's go and look at the front of the door. Because it's got... The, the, I think it's 1905. 1905, I was right. Right, I've taken the medical instruments. I have to sterilize this equipment. Okay, I have to sterilize it first, but we're gonna we're gonna wash it. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I already have some. All right, yeah, I've got some. Okay, so, so we need to uh, charcoal, not that, not that charcoal. Move the pot. Boiling, yes. See, I'm good at this. This is all these instruments. Good to see. I know what I'm doing. Solved a little bit of puzzly stuff there. Right, sterilized instrument. I've done this hundreds of times to other people, but giving yourself a shot is not the same thing. First, uh, disinfect the area where we're injecting the needle. What's the disinfectant here? Us. We're not done that. Um uh, Okay. What's that do? I don't know what that is. What the fuck is that? Pool is full. Perfect. Okay. Now I have to store the bottle of blood in the refrigerated cabinet. That I do. Put it to the refrigerated cabinet. Maria asked oh, for fuck's sake. He's like a fucking. Oh, it's Dr. Forescu has gone out. May I take a message? Please ask him to call me back as soon as possible at Munich 321941. Hello. I'll be sure. Okay, right, I'm going back to bloody put the thing in the fridge for fuck's sake. Water everywhere, by the way. What's this? Oh, that's for the blood test. Oh my god, we're actually doing puzzles, everyone! Well, I wouldn't call them in insane puzzles. Oops, I fucked up there. Yes. Fuck is going on in here? 1814. Okay. I have no idea what blood type I am. How am I meant to work that one out? How, how do I work that one out? Hello? Um. Don't need to do that anymore. Do not. Okay. Fuck you then. What? What? what am I... Right. Let's wash my hands in case. Maybe I have to wash my hands before I do anything else. Yep. Yep. Once again, the sound stops after the first few seconds. Nothing. Oh, wait, what have I got here? Sterilized instruments. All right. I had to shut that again, okay. Right. Oh! Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just clicking things. I look perplexed. Fuck. Perfect. I'm sure of my results. Right. Really should be happy. I've done my I, work well. I'm going to assume that's one of the puzzles that's just skipped. Clearly, that is a skippy puzzly. Bit. Okay, good to know. Yeah, that, that that's yeah. There you go. 
Um, it was the funny bit was the game alt tabbed out. By the way, I don't know if you know my face. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it happened to you guys in the stream, but it 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 alt tabbed out, which is clear why. It, hmm. Yeah, yeah, it froze. Okay. Yeah, clearly, once upon a time, that was meant to be a puzzle. I have no business. Oh, I can't go back in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's back. Oh, you didn't come and see me, you f fucking lazy cow. I finished the sample and the tests. Have you been back long? I should have come help you, shouldn't I? Yes, you should have done, you lazy cow. I was cow. delighted to be of assistance. But now I have to think of my own work. Of course. I'm actually quite angry. Is going well. It has um. changed character. As strange as it might seem, I now am ordered to study some supernatural creatures. Vampires. Vampires? Like Dracula? Dracula? Oh. Don't you know it? It's a wonderful novel. I'll get it for you. Look at this book. It's Dracula by Bram Stoker. Oscar Wilde said it was the most beautiful novel of the mm. century. I was captivated by this novel. And you know the strangest thing? The author used Vlad Tepesh as his model for the character of Dracula. Vlad Tepesh? The Voivode? The, the very same one. The one who used to rule from the Castle of Twilight, whose ruins you must have noticed. Vlad Tepesh. Nicknamed um. Dracula. I can guess what comes next. Yeah. He wants you. <sighs> Professor right. Kruger is a great scientist. He worked with Martha and now insists on me continuing her research. To be I fair, there are different types of doctors, so I get. I anyway, can't, it's I'll too that. much work. Now, isn't that a shame? Oh, please, Father, no sermons. I promise that I'll take it upon myself to finish the analyses he wants from me. They could have at least had the mouse moving or something, eh? At least, even the originals tried to do that. They did it very, very badly, but they tried. Stoker speaks of this Voivod Dracula who earned his nickname attacking the Turks uh -huh. beyond the Great River at the very border of their country. That clearly signifies Vlad Tepesh. All right, are we just getting a history of what a Dracula The word means? has two meanings. Devil or Dragon. Thank you. Father Arno. I'd be happy if you stayed a while in Vladoviste. The people here are a little <laughs> rustic, and I greatly appreciate your company. Uh huh. You know, I am a father in the Catholic Church. I'm sorry, Doctor. But no. What am I meant to do next, anyway? It'd be better for me to. What am I meant to do next? Oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Heading up to the, the Castle of Twilight, because that's where... What the fuck is this? That wasn't there last time I was here, was it? Hmm. There we go, we're up to the Castle of Twilight, where Dracula got killed by a stalactite. Well, it was a big stone sword, actually, but... Hello. Hi, matey. Smoking's bad for you. Hello, Janos. I have a surprise for you. I've just been ordered to conduct an investigation into <laughs> vampires. What do you know? Anything can happen. I was talking about the same subject with Stefan Luca, who just arrived at the inn. He's kind of a fanatic and firmly uh, believes in the existence of Yeah, I don't need to do that. You should question him. You're more useful to me because you're a historian. I have several questions to ask you, particularly about Vlad Tepesh. I'd be glad to answer them, but this incomplete sundial irritates me. <laughs> Could you first... Right, puzzle time. Now, is this going to auto-solve? The fact that we are just... This tree is a sorbus... Mountain of ash for the rowan tree, oh. okay. Skeletons. Exposed. Yeah. Okay. They were convicts who died of exhaustion while digging the foundation of the castle. <laughs> yes, they were buried your fault. where they fell. <laughs> Probably so their ghost would guard the place. That must infuriate you even more, by the way. Well, 
Davies gonna do? Can he do the Skeletons. They were convicts. I'd be glad to answer them. But this oh, where is the fucking sundial, dickhead? Oh, oh right, okay. This sundial adorned the entrance to the castle. A bullet shattered it. Oh. Gold with a safe. I, 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 I know where it is. Oh my god, yes. I don't need to. Which gives a... Right, we don't need to hear all that. This is not and this is not a tough challenge. I've already seen it. It's in the inn. The bigger challenge is fanning around through the town for so long. Uh that way. Go in the entrance. I need to probably talk to the the boss lady, but I probably need to try and pick it off the wall first, don't I? That's it there, look. I can't borrow Yeah, alright. Alright, alright, lady. Oh my god. Stop making me wait for you to stop moving. Let me talk to you. Sure yeah. you can. I don't know where it comes from. Some vagabond brought it to me. I gave him a meal in exchange for it. My way of being charitable. I quite I think she's nice. He's a nice lady. Tell me, father. Do you think Martha will be sanctified? No. Do you mean canonized? Yeah, that's it. I hope she'll be canonized. A saint and a pilgrimage. That's what Vladivista is missing. That'd sure make people come, you know. Uh huh. Okay. It's uh nice. No, no, no. I need to actually pick up that first. Yay! I've got the dragon. Whoop 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 whoop. Let's see. Now we're going to fan it around again. Tick, click on the red arrows. I keep checking in case whoever cart that is returns. Clicky, 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 clicky. All right, where are you? Here you go. Dragon. It's the dynastic emblem of Vlad's family. I found it. Vagabond gave it to Ozana. Perhaps I should return it to her. No, he's not going to say no. Oh, but its place is here. The person who took it had no right. I agree to with these rumors. I agree. I must admit, you're right. Yes. All right, now we can talk. That's a uh, legend forged by his enemies. Stoker was inspired by it to write a very <laughs> bad novel. Oof. The recognized expert on the subject was Professor Van Bergen. Van Bergen. The great Orientalist. The man who crisscrossed Asia for the English Secret Service? Hmm. The very one. At his death, his superb collection was bequeathed to his successor, Professor Irina Buxov. Speak about her to Stefan Luca. I think he has her number. He just has her number. That's so that's Professor Boxoff would be the person to consult? Without a doubt. She possesses remarkable pieces on the subject you are interested in. A manuscript mm. of a biography of Vlad Tapesh, in okay. particular. It's a journey of initiation that some traditions associate with Vlad Tapesh. Most likely because Vlad was called Dracula. All right, yeah, and I need to go talk to the professor. Okay. Can you hear? The wolves All right. multiplied during the war. That's, that's nice. Thank you for that. Do, 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 all right, journalist, let's talk to you. And... Hello, Father Arno. It just so happens that my congregation yep. inquire. We have to fight. No, Suppose no. Suppose they exist. If that's the case, isn't it essential to study them? Ah, uh, no, you don't believe they exist. Know thy enemy. Ours is wily and difficult to get at, unless we take the path of the dragon. That was Martha's conviction. The path of the dragon? The dragon. The vampire. Dracula. All these names designate our adversary. The path of the I mean, dragon. To be leads fair, to his this guy does. Look seem at this to... file that Martha entrusted me with on her return from uh, How many files have you got? Established that the path comprised seven trials. The related documents are sorted in seven folders. Uh huh. Seven seven trials, eh? Okay. Crucifixion, Raphael. What, 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 okay, I, sorry. I know that work. It's Raphael's crucifixion. Right. Yes, 
photographed by Martha. According to her, this painting has a connection with the first stage on the path of the dragon. Does it? Really? The painting has a hidden meaning? Martha thought so. She spoke to me of other versions of the same work of art, slightly modified reproductions she examined in private collections. According to her, to understand the hidden message, the original's not enough. It has to be compared to the copies and the variations noted. Does it? Do you have other versions of the painting? Unfortunately not. Martha gave me this file at the beginning of her research, for she feared her papers would be stolen. Afterwards, we have mm. a radically changing style, you could say. Hmm. This other document is a sketch Martha made of an ancient bas-relief. Inscription is hard to make out. It vaguely resembles Enoki. Okay. But the drawing is clear. The figure is slashing his veins. I see the sketch is classified in the first folder with the crucifixion. Is there... For Martha, there was no doubt about right. it. Right, so blood. Here's a sketch of another bas-relief from the same place as the previous one. Martha associated it with the second time. There aren't any other documents? Nothing for the five last tests? Yeah, oh, sacrifice. I They're missed the entire title there, eh? I'm sure that Martha found many others. It might have only been more conciliatory. Father, we have to follow the path of the dragon. Let's go to <laughs> Turkey. Since Martha Let's just here, go to Turkey. Together we'll succeed. I don't think that my superiors would appreciate that initiative. However, I promise that I'll think about it. Okay, I need to talk to him about the Irina Buksov. I uh, tried to contact her, but I was rejected. She's incredibly mistrusted. Do you have her phone number? Do you think so? Possibly. If you're a priest, that inspires trust. Does it? Call four four five eight two seven in Budapest. Yeah, just don't mention you. Have you returned to dispense? I went to give blood at the. All right, you give blood. You didn't try you. to recover. What's the point in harassing young Maria? I'm sure there's nothing. Hmm. Why this document gathering? Martha said it was the only way to discover objects and symbols related. Okay. Fine. Father, help. It's not so simple. You see. Yeah, all right. We're gonna go and uh, phone up this arena. This is arena box off. Hello, box off. Hello, professor. At the request of my hierarchy, I'm investigating the persistence of certain superstitions. You are an authority on questions of folklore and popular beliefs. Mm. You flatter me. Let's say that I've had the good fortune to inherit the library of my predecessor, Professor Hermann von Bergen. But tell me, what exactly is your investigation focused on? Go on, go on, go on. The belief in those imaginary creatures called vampires. You're interested in vampires. <laughs> she sounds annoyed. Just to demystify them. The Catholic Church wants to fight this superstition. Hmm. I have serious reserves about getting into the subject. I am in great demand, you know. Could you be more precise I don't like about the framework in which you're conducting your inquiry? I was entrusted with it by Monsignor Felicio Briganti of the Congregation of Rites. If need be, you can contact him by calling Vatican 63. Your references are serious. I'll accept to help you, Father, but I don't trust the telephone. Could you visit me at my office in Budapest? We're going certainly. As early wow, as tomorrow, we're going to Budapest right soon. Very good. I'll expect you. Okay, so do we do we go and spend the night and then uh, let's see if we can finish the day? This isn't the right time. No, we cannot finish the day. Okay. I mean, it was worth a go. We clearly haven't... Maybe I need to go speak to the, the guy down there. I imagine he's going to tell me. I'm tired. It's time to go for bed. Because we're clearly going to Budapest tomorrow. Oh. Father, help me resume. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's not so si Oh, okay. So. Where are we going then, friends? Interesting. I've had no hint of where to go next. Uh, we go out to the dispensary and talk to... Oh, oh, I could ask her if there's anything. Can we go back? I have no business. 
Yeah, it doesn't let me. Right, let's go talk to my pal. Hi, pal. Da -da. Uh, uh. Father Arno, I'd be happy if you stayed a while in. Yeah, well, you've already said that to me. So basically, nothing. The dog's gonna <sighs> jump at me again. <laughs> did get me? Did manage to jump scare me that time? Did you? Ha ha ha! Nice try, you dicks. Right, where? Where am I meant to go then? I don't want to. Let's do another run around the cemetery. Anyone in the cemetery? The exact same people. Are you, are you just exactly the same as Bond? Oh no, we, we shouted his name. I didn't even know we knew his name, but okay. Must have missed that. Oh, get a move on, kid. God's sake. Uh, oh. I know one. He's very tall and walks in silence. I saw him through the fog near the tomb of the wild rose and the crossroads of the broken oak. But it's funny you should ask me that question. Usually grown-ups don't Ooh. like to talk about those things. Why do you think that's so? I think the grown-ups are scared. Probably. And you're not scared? No. Martha protects me. Now, are you just hanging around the graveyard all day? Now the bridge is broken and you can't get in anymore. Except through the underground passages. But I don't know where they are. Uh, they're in the graveyard. And you really have Grave. to be careful about ghosts. Ghosts? They're in the graveyard, kid. Yes. You can hear them crying at night. Ariel even Or a saw whale. Them. If there's a whale. Naked men carrying rocks to build a wall. Oh. Women and children, too, stuck on stakes. That's about... Yeah, we, we know what that's about. We don't need to... Okay, well, thank you for that. Let's go for a loop around here again. Is that? I'm always really curious if that one has got. I it was a crucifix. Do anything with it? No, I wondered. This. Oh, it's a Bible. I just randomly got. Oh, wow. I've got. Look. You know, I keep trying because you never know. But, you know. We're going to go speak to the grave digger again. But there's nothing else. Alright, grave digger. We're now going to sit hey, and walk. Sir. We're going to have to wait for you to walk across. They're waiting. There we go. Ugh. I'll leave you. Nothing new. Well, what waste of my here. what waste of my time? They weren't really helpful. Oh, you know what? Let's go back up to the um the castle of twilight. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. I do that every time. Let's go back to the castle of twilight because it's dark. Is it dark? I'm assuming this is the broken oak. Yeah, that's the broken oak. My pal's still here. He is still here. Anything I can use on there? Use the cross. Skeletons. They were convict. That's great, mate. Thank you. Uh, again. Can you hear? Yeah, thanks for, for that. Do you know these little bits? And I don't know what to use them for, but uh, we'll go back. So, I'm running out of things to do. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't just fucking go and get the train back to Bucharest, do I? Not Bucharest, Budapest. Yes! Well, we're on our way to Budapest. I thought you'd spend the night, but no, you'd have to click on the train. So, there we go. That was me wasting ages of my time. What are we seeing here? Is that the doctor? Why am I thinking about the doctor? Bad father. Okay, this. Oh, that's Herman. Okay. Hello. I'm not going to open. Okay, we're not opening the strong box. Oh, God, she's right there. I mean, to be fair, 
She's right there. Father Arno, I presume? No. The concierge told me what I needed to know. You have a wonderful place. Mm. All the art objects surrounding me were bequeathed by my mentor and friend, the late Professor Hermann von Bergen. So in other words, you did none of it yourself then. I know his reputation. He was a great by traveler. By the way, she's got a cracking view, to and be fair. And a distinguished scholar. But tell me, did you have a pleasant journey? Yes, thank you. I admired the Transylvanian landscape, then I fell asleep. Hmm. And you've come from Transylvania? From Vladivostok, to be precise. The homeland of Vlad the Impaler. You made the right choice of locales to investigate vampires. Herman went there too when he was young. Hmm. Okay. He never told me. I've had various hypotheses, of course, but I must confess the question intrigues me. And to think that the answer might lie what? behind you. Why? What? what? The personal papers of Herman are in this strong box. He died suddenly oh. and didn't have the time to give me the code for opening it. Can I try to open it? I'm no expert in the matter, but with a little luck. Uh, Gladly. I'd be very grateful if you managed to open Herman's strong box. Uh, how am I going to manage that? The first trace we have oh, stems from ancient yeah. Babylon. But it's in Europe, beginning in the 14th, 14th century, that veritable epidemics of vampirism are described. Oh, yeah, I don't really need to. It's very read. widespread. In aspen Russia, steak. they use an aspen steak. In other places, it's made of hawthorn. Uh -huh. from... oh, yeah. It has to. Reports describe hundreds of graves. Right, I'm not really interested. What do you mean by believe, Father? <laughs> I'm curious about this I one. Mean, do you think that vampires have a real, objective existence? Uh... Real or objective? You must choose, Father. Because the only immediate reality is subjective. What? The rest are just hypotheses. All right, your viewpoint what? is unassailable. So let me reformulate my question. According to you, has the existence of vampires been demonstrated? No. Jean-Jacques Rousseau said, If ever there was in the world a warranted and proven history, what? it is that of vampires. Nothing is lacking. Official reports, affidavits of well-known people, of surgeons, of priests, of magistrates. The evidence is most complete. Okay, where are we Yeah, all that? these stories and affidavits seem very confused to me. I sense nothing coherent behind it all. Didn't you say yourself that the traditions don't agree? Don't take the legends literally. I think they are the deformed reflection of a truth. That is even more. What's what, what's that? What's that? What's that? This book, The Lords of Twilight, is the most rigorous volume that ever written on that thing that there. Place. Open it. Okay. The Lords of Twilight, or the fulfillment of the race. I'm not really sure. I really want to read all this. If, I, if I'm really honest with you. Um. Uh. Yeah. Ubermensch, oh god. This lock is incredibly noisy. Or has my... Hey, did you hear that? I heard that. It should be a vowel. Not a vowel. It's a year. It's a year. Not V. L or M, maybe? Oh. I don't know. An A. Oh no. C. Forgot about C. Wait, another C. Yep. Is it gonna be another? Is it gonna be? Wait, it's another C. Yep. See, Roman numerals. Be X. I found the combination. M D C C C X X. 
Looks like a number it is. in Roman That's exactly it. Thank you for opening the strong box, Father. I will. I will. What is it? This is a letter from Mr. Stoker addressed to Herman. Read it, please. Oh. Oh, Bram Stoker. Dear Master. Dear Master? I must admit that your last letter caused me some grief. I hereby hope to reassure you, and above all, that I did not misuse the fast and history that you recounted. Okay. Above all, please know I've never doubted the gravity of the matter. <laughs> so, he's, he's, or is it, if it possible, through the nature of bringing any prejudice, which better means one of contemporaries and the Lord of the Night, and the novel that reveals the tricks. My Dracula, this book which you disapprove of. So the horror that I moved the actual transmit to England and I created two different characters from your Luciana. In other words, I considerably altered your story. Which must know they're already 24 years old. Is that enough to I'm curious. So then, Stoker was inspired by a story told him by Professor, Professor Van Bergen. The story of events that had taken place in Transylvania. Perhaps in... It's probable. How does this link go you know to the... that Professor Van Bergen knew Bram Stoker? Yes, but I ignored all the details that are recounted in this letter. I only knew that Stoker had cited Herman among the uh, sources yeah. inspiring him, and Herman was not flattered. Oh dear. Had the Professor foreseen the novel's success? In no way. One day he told me, speaking of Stoker, that irresponsible man didn't understand half of what I told him. He's peddling errors that could cost people their lives. Fortunately, his book will be completely uh. forgotten. That's true, but it's very hard to find one's way yeah. in it. Herman had a very particular way of storing his War books. Poetically Let's than say, functionality. Every time I take a volume from the shelf, right. I write its call number on a bookmark I slip between the pages. That way I can put it back in place <laughs> without losing too much time. Ghosts. ghosts? Yes, there are ghosts, ghosts in my library. Or white cardboard. That's what we call the pieces of white cardboard that signify. <laughs> we done. Ah. Oh. Okay. Guess we're going in the library then. No point for us to go to the library. I've all Okay, we well, went to do then. This is no time to take my But there's nothing else to talk about. I Look. won't examine oh. this document. What do you mean? I've I mean, already done all this bit though. Really? I've already done that. Oh. So I'm now really confused. Jean -Jacques... Yet all these Don't take this book. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Oh god, I have to read the bloody thing again. Of Twilight is the work of an insane person. <laughs> it's sheer madness. Father, the war that has just ended shows that the whole world can go mad. In less mm -hmm. than 30 years, evil will seize power and the earth will once more catch fire. Ooh. No, not so quickly, not so soon. After the carnage we went through, the world will take the time to let its wounds heal. Oh dear. You'll see. The author of the book, the Thule Society that publishes it, all of them are criminals who won't hesitate trampling on corpses to gain power and eternal life. The war will come because of them. Oh, again, yeah, that's what the books were. That's what I was talking about. U Inter you know, Ubermensch, whatever the hell it was. Uh... It's a group founded by Heinrich von Kreuzberg on the ruins of the Golden uh -huh. Dawn, another secret society. Thule reached out to Professor von Bergen many times, but he couldn't bear. All right, so von Bergen wasn't involved. That's nice to hear. Did they approach you? Many yeah. times. Openly. They didn't in any roundabout way. Oh, That's very, why she was very suspicious very about me, I suspect. I would never compromise myself with them. Hmm. That's very possible. Vlad was a cruel ruler. You'd rather deal with the yeah. devil. So he would... To be sure. But where would he be hiding? Yeah, where would he be hiding? Why not? Or elsewhere? The fox might have changed his day. Follow the path. Yep. Worked that one out. Uh, how do you, do you know the hidden apocalypse of Thomas the No, Green? I don't. Yes. 
There are those who say it is a prophetic work. Is it though? Is Here it really? It is. Open, Open the, the book. book. All right. There you go. This page reveals the origin of I'm the great it right the front. Does the assassination it? of Archduke Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo. It's a load of dumb. The event that would submerge the world in horror. Hi, really? This page, you say? Forget it's the direction you ordinarily read in. Try to compose words vertically or diagonally. See? Asus Belli. The Asus cause of the Belli. war. Exactly. The prophecy contains two other terms that cross the first one. Look for them, and you will find the date and place of the assassination. War of oh, Sarajevo. Everything's there. Yeah. 1914 in Sarajevo, the incident that caused the war occurred. That's a bit it spooky. It's very odd, I grant you that. The other side you get That's some. the past. Now let's discover the... Okay. You see? On this page, the Thule Society is clearly designated. Its name is associated with Caiades, which means massacre. To know more, look for connected terms. What? So now everything is clear. At the instigation of the Thule Society, evil will triumph in Germany in 1936. And there will be massacres. Malvik. What the hell was that? At I'm assuming that was actually a puzzle originally. I'm currently assuming that's an auto. So this prophecy is at the root of your mistrust of the Thule Society. It's just one element among. Hmm. I see it as a way to force destiny to attain, thanks right. to the Force, spheres forbidden to man. How could that be possible? She really believes in the occult, doesn't she? Father, you are well placed to know that sacraments of good exist. You must accept that there are also... Right. Hmm. If they do exist, these sacraments can only... <laughs> they do exist. Seven of them. Seven stages of the same route. Seven trials to change a man into a bloodthirsty ah. monster who pretends to deal with God as an equal. The keys to the path of the dragon are hidden in ancient documents. Take this occult... Oh, here we go. We're going to get something else now. What's this one? That... What... Oh my god, it's uh, Raphael's crucifixion again. Crucifixion? Crucifixion! According to Professor Rote, the redemption of the difference between the hope and the original is essential to those who follow the path of the dragon. Okay. These variations between the two versions of the crucifixion are troubling. Uh huh. You say that Professor Van Bergen was able to interpret them? Ooh, was he? Herman was convinced that the variations in the documents revealed the secrets of the path. Imagine yourself as a copyist seeking to transmit a message to initiates. Two yeah. methods are possible. Either you add an element to the original, or more subtly, you remove one. Right. Chalice? Yes, it's absent from the copy. And I think it's a way to draw attention to it. The devil leaves his signature in its absence, Herman said. Then the chalice is important. An object is associated with each stage of the path. I'd venture a guess okay. that What happens at the end of the route? You become a vampire. The initiate must accomplish one last run. He won't be able to unless he... Yeah. If you want to transmit forbidden knowledge, it's an advantage to plagiarize yeah. sacred art. Piously Your conserved. copy will be piously <laughs> conserved by simple folk. <laughs> good point. Very good point. Professor, I don't want to take up too much of your time. All right. This visit. It's regrettable that the Catholic Church is so rigid. But even if the existence of vampires may be doubted, the existence of the Thule Society is unquestionable. Beware of it, Father. I is this the height of my trip to Budapest? End, be so kind. Thank you for that, receiving that. so graciously, Professor. Are we? Are we finished? I wish you a safe journey back. To are we? Are we? Is that as finished? No point for. I mean, I I'm assuming. If I click on the door, we're, no, we're still not done. If I click on this one, are we done? We're we gonna leave? We're we gonna finish? We are finishing on the way back to Transylvania. And I think that's as good as any time uh, to finish for the day. We're just seeing the same clips we've already seen earlier, though. Which is intriguing. 
but yeah thank you all for watching as we return back i'm going to switch off and save but yeah thanks everyone for watching until next time bye bye and there we have dracula 3 uh, the path of the dragon and so far my least favorite of the three dracula games i've played technologically clearly better um, and maybe if you had the original like people said it'd be it would have been fine but they've removed far too much this time it feels um, it just feels like a walking simulator without the really engaging story if i'm honest um a bit disappointing i know they've removed puzzles they've left a few in so that's the same as, as the past but they've even removed a lot of the you know the really random find an object and use it element and don't get me wrong Yes, I tend to just brute force my way through those, but at least there's the odd option of thinking, oh, yes, I know where to use this. Yay! But none of that beyond, like, putting some charcoal in a fire and bringing a pot to boil. Just a bit disappointing compared to um, the other ones. I, I, I really lost much more worth saying that. Will I finish it? Probably I, I'm feeling like almost being a completionist in these games because I've done the first two. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not going to play... I, it's quite... I, I'm absolutely shocked that, I've, that it's actually engaged me less than the first two. Um, as I said, we'll, we'll continue um, re play the next games, of course, as well. But yeah, I was... Um, I think you can tell not really worked for me but again as i've said the original might be fine uh, so again don't buy the steam version just don't do it don't don't be me and with that thank you and goodbye so just a reminder everybody if you'd um, like to see more videos like this please hit the subscribe button or if you want to watch live follow me on twitch until next time, goodbye.